me tell you a story. I'm in the middle of Amsterdam Square with some... I'm waiting on Papa. to 60,000 time, bro, and I have the knife myself. Wagwan viewers, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a fresh new update. So viewers, if you don't yet subscribe, please do so right away. And also, hit that like button and drop your honest opinion in the comment section. So viewers, we have a leak voice note of Jack Your. Matter of fact, the reason why Jack Your got sink and got six ears. And also, a footage of Shensia giving Nicki Minaj homage. Matter of fact, paying homage to Nicki Minaj. And also, Lisa cleared the ear after fabricated footage of her and the Duchess started to circulate online. So viewers, me know you know I miss this update. So make sure you like, share and subscribe. And make sure you drop your honest opinion in the comment section also in the viewers. What was the context of you being called Popcorn? I don't ever say the reason why on interviews. You know what I'm saying? So we'll never know? It's a mystery. Do you like popcorn? Like? No. You don't even like popcorn? No. <laughs> so when you go to cinema, no, you don't even get popcorn? I've never been to the cinema in my life. I can't... I don't think I've ever met an adult that hasn't been to the cinema until now. Oh, well, probably a true one from the country. I'm a countryman. But you're worldly now. You're popcorn. You've travelled the globe. <laughs> yeah, that's big true. Big hits. Big hits. I you're need, known all over. Never I been to cinema. To pull up in the cinema one day. Do you want me to take you to the cinema? Uh, of course. Why not? Let's go. Viewer subscribers, a leak voice note of Jack Your is currently circulating on Instagram and on Twitter also. So viewers, right about now, I'm going to share the voice note with you. But before I share it, make a reason. If Jack Your really said this and it is not a fabricated voice note, viewers, him really get what him deserve. Because what? I don't expect you as a sensible person to do this right away. So viewers, enough of the talking. Right away, just check out the leak voice note and let me know what you think in the comment section. If you think I really the cure, or you think I want fabricated voice note as well. So viewers, once again, let me know what you think in the comment section. And don't forget to drop a like on this video. Let me tell you a story. I'm in the middle of Amsterdam Square. I'm waiting on Papa. 60,000 times, bro. And I have the knife myself. I'm ashamed to tell you this, bro. I take off all my jewelry. I'm in the damn square with Penko, and I'm gonna show Penko that he needs to put respect on his name. My brother, this is stupid what I'm telling you, but believe me to God, if Papa shows up here, you will hear the news, and someone will be here to make the video. My brother, I'm not lying when I tell you this. I'm waiting on Papa to fix him. Good. And I'm waiting if he shows, brother, you will hear the news. I make no joke. And I would never send you a voice note like this for no reason. I'm not here to make a comedy show, bro. I so viewers, dear Avitino, that's the leaked voice note that currently circulating on the internet. So viewers, right away just let me know if you think that is Jack Your or you think it is a fabricated voice note in you know, the viewers because what? Anything can go on you know, because we in the age of technology, you know. But clearly, my opinion is that a Jack Your and I'm wrong for do that because what? If you do that, you know, that's evidence for sink you. Yeah. What you mean you put respect by your name and show people say you have to put respect by your name? Hmm? Answer me. Let me know what you think in the comment section of viewers because what? Jack your, you go low. You go wrong. As a Jamaican, you don't know that this is not a choice for you make. Because what? As a Jamaican, you out there in the world. You know the right, brother. If you go make all them evidence you have for your name, brother, you gone, you gone. So Jack your, you me can't even come as a again. Come behave like say yo, me at take side with you or even behave as if. You know you're wrong. You're wrong, Jack Your. You're wrong. Make the law deal with it, Jack Your. So if you ask me to move right along, remember you know, make me know what you think about that section. In the comment section, if you think it is a fabricated voice note, or it's real as well. It's a matter of viewers. So right away we're gonna move along. Right away we're gonna move right along to the video of Shensia paying homage to Nicki Minaj. So if you ask me know what you think, because what? I feel like she should pay homage to Spice. 
Mm -hmm. I feel like a spice should I get that respect, not Nicki Minaj, because what? Nicki Minaj don't really do nothing for she as an artist, see me? Because she's a dancehall artist. But viewers, that are my opinions. Let's check out this viral interview of Shensia paying homage to Nicki Minaj right away, viewers. I don't know what you think in the comments. I've been watching Nicki from the start of her career. It's truly amazing the imprint that she has put on the industry because I feel like now all the female artists coming up, she has truly inspired them and I feel like when you have good inspirations, it motivates great music to come. That's how good music lives on because you have people who can inspire timeless music. I feel like Nicki Minaj has done that. It's so there you have it in the viewers. That was Shensia paying homage to Nicki Minaj. Matter of fact, giving Nicki Minaj her candles. Is it massive viewers? She basically I give Nicki Minaj a forward. There's a master out there. I say, yeah, Nicki Minaj have paved the way for rappers, which she is clearly not a rapper. There's a master. She's a dancehall artist. But viewers, I very respect Nicki Minaj does the same for doing that. Because, of course, she's the reigning queen of rap for all time. She will be the queen of rap. No. Mm -hmm. But she say, Spice. A spice forget your homage, as a say, give spice your candle and your roses them. A spice of the queen right now, a dance hall. Spice have paved the way for you. So let's move right along now, viewers. Let's share the video of Lisa Anna clearing the ear after a fabricated video of she and the Duchess of Cambridge started to circulate it on the internet. And people even say she clearly had this. The princess is a massive viewers. So let me know what you think in the comment section after watching this Lisa Anna explanation of that situation. I respect all people. You know, my parents taught me to be cordial to everyone, no matter who they are or their status. There are too many global problems that have been caused by misinterpretation and an inability to understand the truth. And the truth in this case is that Duchess Catherine and I, we had very, very amicable interactions and there was no negativity between us whatsoever as evidenced by many, many photos and videos circulating online. But there's a bigger issue here, which is bigger than the personalities of Lisa Hanna, Duchess Catherine, Andrew Holness, Mark Golding and Prince William. This is about justice for you, the people of Jamaica, and justice for the wider Caribbean. Remember, ancestors were brought here against their will as slaves, and, and they were forced to give labor to the development of the wealth in the United Kingdom and the wealth of the Western world. So yes, I am heartened that we're moving towards Republic status, but that's just, that's just the first step. The issue of reparations now needs to be taken very, very seriously. Because if we're honest with ourselves, we know that we still have serious issues with equity and equality. And that becoming a republic does very little for the mother in my constituency struggling to put food on her table. Neither does it help the taxi driver in Kingston, who is struggling now with high gas prices. However, the evils of slavery, it, they can't be overlooked. Neither can the wealth gained from it by a few, including the wealth acquired by the institution of the monarchy, which cannot be overlooked. Indeed, Prince William and, and Duchess Catherine have a unique opportunity to define their issues and advocacy. And I really hope that, that this visit to the Caribbean will stir their emotions and stir their thoughts. And that as they ascend, they will refine the monarchy's perspective with enthusiasm towards building a fairer and more just global society. Because condemning slavery with no action as both Prince Charles and Prince William did is not particularly bold, nor does it show courage. And I would hope that this kind of rhetoric is a start and not an end to the journey on the issue of reparations and justice. You know, when we say in Jamaica, respect, we mean it. When we, when we greet you, when we part with you, we say respect and we respect you. We respect Prince William and we respect Duchess Catherine. We respect the British people. We respect your leaders. So when you visit Jamaica, we're polite to you. We're cordial to you. We give you the time of your life on holiday. We'll laugh with you, we'll cry with you. But it's time now for reciprocity by taking our advocacy seriously so that together we can right the wrongs, the historical wrongs, and reset the political, economic, and social system for future generations. 
Today I opined as such in The Guardian and I encourage you to read it. Click the link tree in my bio.